Oh, hi. I notice you're admiring my Tesla charging setup here. I've got one of these on either side of the garage for both of my cars. And I want to show you how you can save some money instead of buying the Tesla wall connector for $550 and using this setup instead, which is about as fast, about as convenient, and really, really easy to install. So we're going to go over the numbers later on in the, uh, the episode, but we're going to also show you how to install this setup. So let me show this to you real quick. We've got, of course, the, uh, the portable connector that comes with every Tesla. Dare I say free, but you got to buy the car, of course. Uh, we've got the 1450 NEMA adapter here, which I'm using. They have an array of uh, different ones for depending on your kind of plug. I'll show you that later on in the video as well. And then, of course, this nifty uh, place to, to coil the uh, cable and somewhere to uh, put your nozzle in. So uh, looks neat, works great charges your car overnight easily. Again, all the numbers later on in the episode. Let's get into installation, shall we? And we're gonna save you a ton of money here on Tesla Tips and Trips. All right, today we're gonna to be uh, installing this Bouge RV uh, EV model cable charger holder for the uh, stock Tesla uh, charger that comes with the car. And uh, you can see here, I already have these brackets here from my previous charger, it was a Clipper Creek, held it well, but I think I'm gonna still use these pieces of wood here to, uh, to also install this. So uh, let's see how this works. All right, so I think I'm gonna put this in this orientation to hold this part of it on the bottom here, and then the uh, adapter goes here and goes down to the uh, 1450. At the same time, I'm gonna use the cable holder and the uh, nozzle port, and I think I'm gonna put that up here, and so that way it can wrap around nicely, and it's easily accessible when it's time to uh, come charge the car. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Let's see how it works. So this is the uh, charger that comes with the car. This is the 1450 that uh, you have to order in addition. It was $45 at the time that I bought it. And uh, that makes this a uh, 220 or 240, whichever, um, charging capable. Uh, and it charges about 30 miles per hour of charge. So you just pop this in like this, real hard, make sure it's a solid connection. And I just wanna make sure, I just wanna make sure this reaches. And it looks like I gotta go lower than normal. Right about there. Just kind of, kind of eyeball it here. And I don't think it needs the bottom one. I think, uh, I think just the top one is going to hold it just fine. Uh, just plops into place, holds it right there nicely. Looks like I can go up a little bit on it, I think. Easy enough. And that is dead on. That looks good. All right, for the next part, we're gonna be uh, putting this part on the uh, second piece of wood over here over my shoulder. And uh, this holds the cable and the nozzle. And uh, we're gonna do that on the top and it should uh, make for a pretty nice system. By the way, the system comes with the, um, if you're going into drywall, it comes with the, uh, the inserts for that. We're going into a piece of wood here, so I'm not gonna do that. Just gonna use the screws direct. Comes with a bunch too, look at that. Uh, two, four, six, six screws, six wall things. Pretty good kit. Now this one is going uh, to be holding the cable and everything, so I do want it to be a little stronger. I'm gonna be using both the uh, the screws, pretty pretty long screws too, look at that. And I'm gonna pre-drill some holes for it too. Cause uh, these are pretty thick. These screws are pretty beefy. And typically if you just try to screw it in there, it ends up stripping the head. So I'm gonna pre-drill some holes. I ended up going with the uh, smaller screws because I got this piece of wood here. Uh, it should 
still hold it just uh, just fine. And so this just pops onto this, and then we wrap our cable, and I think we're good. That's that. There you go. All right, let's get the cable. Best in the business, by the way. So much better than J1772. And CCS, for that matter. This is a brand new setup here, so this is eventually going to not be so tight. And then this is kind of nice that it holds it right here. And it's just ready to go. So that's the setup. Oh, got to plug it in so it'll work. And there we go. Nice little install. Pretty easy. Easy to get to and um, holds everything in place nice and solid. Nothing being stretched or anything like that. Let me do a close up for you. Okay, so as you can see, it's um, kind of up high, so it's nice and easy to access the uh, nozzle and the cable and then wrap it around. And then down here, we've got the holster for uh, the unit itself. It's nice and solid, it's not gonna go anywhere. And uh, it plugs right into the uh, 1450 down below. Overall, system looks good. In fact, it looks a lot like the one over here. So we got two of them going on. And that's how you install whatever this is from China. The Bouge RV 4EV Model 3. Well, it's for a Model Y too. I hate to break it to them. Um, but anyway, we've got two of these things. They work great. And uh, just neatens things up and that way you don't have a pile of cable um, sitting on the ground. Okay, back in the studio now. Uh, let's go over some of the charges that I paid for the setup that you saw in my garage. And I have that times two. I have two Teslas, so I have this exact setup uh, in there twice. So here are the uh, the things that I bought and uh, what I paid for them. And then we'll compare them to the, the Tesla wall charger that is uh, basically $550. We'll go over all the numbers as well on charging rates and, and stuff like that. So uh, let's go to the, uh, the screen record here. And you can see on the Amazon page, this is the um, the charge holder that I got. Um, looks like it's still in stock. I can I can get it tomorrow if I wanted to. Um, Seventeen ninety nine um, for this particular setup, and it's really nice. It really uh, organizes the cable nicely, and uh, you can put your nozzle in there, and it locks into place. It's really nice. You have to, by the way, you have to lift up on the nozzle to uh, get it out, and that way it locks into place. It doesn't fall to the ground or whatever. You don't want a, that breaking. So, uh, so this was $17.99, um, and then of course, I bought the NEMA connector. Um, I don't know if I can move my browser, there we go. Um, bought the NEMA adapter for the uh, portable connector that comes with every Tesla. So I, I know it sounds weird to say free because it comes with the car, you gotta buy the car, but that already is included. You don't have to spend extra money for that. So I'm gonna put a zero uh, dollar on that. So we got the $17.99, and then we've got the, let's see, I did um, the NEMA 1450, that's probably the most common, and that is $45. So we're at $18, we're at $45. I can't think of anything else that I bought for that setup. It came with the screws, um, everything else is included. Now this is assuming you already have the connection from uh, an electrician, a 1450 uh, outlet for that, which by the way, you gotta pay extra for, for the, uh, the the Tesla one, that's a hard wire. So you're gonna need an electrician no matter what. So if you've got, already got one of these uh, outlets in your house, uh, all these different selections here, um, then you're good to go. Otherwise, you still have to pay for an electrician to uh, put one of these in there. And the nice thing about this is you can unplug it and go on a, on a road trip or whatever. It's not hardwired to the house, another benefit of that. You just unplug it, throw it in the trunk um, or frunk, <laughs> either way. Um, and that way it's portable and it, that's its intended use. So now charging rates, let's compare. So it's $18 and $45, what is that? I'm not uh, incredible with math. Uh, people are probably yelling at the screen right now. Uh, let's take a look here, 18, uh, 45. So like $63 for this setup. Um, again, I can't think of anything else that was needed for that. The connector came with it, plug it into the adapter. I already had the 1450 uh, outlet 
Obviously, that's a factor, but I can't I can't put that in, the, in these numbers because that's going to depend on your situation. If it's a long electric run, it's going to cost a lot more than my particular run, which was on the other side of the wall where you saw it. So um, that's dependent on your situation. So just raw materials, an easy electric run, or if you already have the uh, outlet uh, installed. So these are the charging rates. I have a Model 3 and a Model Y and a 1450 down here on the grid. So my Model 3 will charge approximately, give or take, conditions, all that kind of stuff, uh, 30 miles of charge uh, per hour. And then my Model Y will do 29. So that's um, not terrible, not terrible by any means. So let's take the uh, Model Y, which has a 303 uh, estimated range when it was new on my Model Y performance. And we divide that by 29. So that'll take 10 hours to charge. That's if I arrive at home with zero on the battery, which never happens. I mean, it, I've been driving electric since 2014. I've never arrived home with zero on the battery. So you're assuming you're gonna have some on the battery. Um, and even from zero to full, it's gonna take 10 hours, which is basically overnight. So why do you need it any faster, in all honesty? All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the whiz-bang a uh, really cool wall connector from Tesla. There it is, $550. Um, let me see if I can move the screen over. There it is. So $550 for this. I mean, I have to be honest. Yes, it's really nice. It looks amazing. Um, has a few more features on board like Wi-Fi and, and other things like that. Um, this will be hardwired. Although uh, Bearded Tesla Guy has a great tip tutorial on how to change one of these guys uh, over into a, uh, a plug-in kind. And it doesn't seem like it costs that much and it doesn't look like it's all that difficult even if you're a complete idiot like I am with electric. So, um, $550 for this and you're gonna get 44 miles of, of range per hour of charging for this particular setup. I don't know why anyone would ever get an eight and a half footer. Um, is it less? Eight and a half? The eight and a half is the same price as the 24? Go with the 24 all day long. That's, uh, if I'm gonna give you one recommendation, if you do buy this, don't get the short cable, that makes no sense. Okay, so uh, 44 miles of range. The, uh, it does include the Wi-Fi. Um, and let's, so let's run those numbers in terms of charging. Um, here's my handy daddy calculator. So 303 on my Model Y performance divided by 44, obviously gonna be faster, 6.8 hours. So basically almost seven hours, you got about a three hour difference. Is it still gonna charge overnight? Yeah. Um, if you've got a supercharger nearby and you absolutely need a faster charge, do that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's you know $70 versus $550. And, and that's plus tax on e either of those, of course. So. It, my recommendation, and by the way, I've been using this setup on my Model 3 since 2019. Flawless, not a problem at all. Um, so it's, you know, it doesn't add any wear to the device or anything like that. If I need a new one, it's a couple hundred dollars for the mobile connector that came with the car if I need another one. Um, I don't know. I get it. This is really cool looking. I, I understand that wow factor and, and you want to have that in the garage, but at the end of the day, it's your garage. Nobody's in there except you for the most part. You're not gonna bring your friends in and go, oh, look at this charger. And they probably don't care because they're driving gas cars anyway. Um, so at the end of the day, um, it's a matter of what do you wanna do with your $550 as opposed to 70 bucks or so. Um, get the adapter, plug it into the included uh, connector that comes with the car and get a nice little setup to make everything nice and neat. And the reason I did that, the $18 plastic, you know, wall, organizer thing is just to keep everything nice and neat. You don't want it laying on the ground. You don't want uh, the nozzle falling. You don't want to have to coil things up. I've seen people use like a hose uh, coil uh, organizer. I actually did that like the first week I had a Tesla and I ended up not liking it. So I uh, just spent the $18. It's nice to put the nozzle in there and have a place to wrap it around. It's, it's a really nice setup. So uh, there's my opinion. There's how to install it. There's how to save a ton of money on something that's gonna 
at the end of the day do the same exact thing. One's a little faster, but it's way more expensive. One's slightly slower, but it's a lot cheaper. And at the end of the day, it's still gonna charge your car overnight without a problem. So uh, there's my take on the uh, included connector for charging or spending the $550 on the wall connector from Tesla. Either way, your car is going to get charged, in my opinion. So uh, thank you so much for uh, growing the channel, hitting that like button. That means the world to me. And uh, of course, subscribe if you like to see uh, more videos like this and uh, more on the channel. We totally appreciate uh, each and every single one of you. And uh, we're going to be doing more videos like this, comparing things um, and, and just having fun with our Teslas. That's what this is all about with uh, our Teslas and relaying the information to you. So uh, thanks once again. Don't forget, like I said, like, subscribe, hit the bell, and we will catch you on the next video. Thank you.